Ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a tale that's juicier than a ripe watermelon on a hot summer day. A rendezvous at the swanky Marslow Hotel in San Tin, Johannesburg, where the Red Berets of the EFF decided to roll out the red carpet, or should I say, the revolutionary beret, for none other than Karl Niehaus and his party pals from the African Radical Economic Transformation Alliance, ARITA. It's like a political potluck, but instead of bringing a casserole, Niehaus brings a whole political party to the party. Now, I'm no party planner, but that's what I call making an entrance. In a move that left head spinning faster than a Beyblade, Niehaus and crew joined the EFF, and rumors have it that he's eyeing a leadership position. I mean, who wouldn't want to lead a party where the dress code includes red overalls and berets? It's like a fashion-forward revolution. Sepit Lele Reis Ruth, the EFF regional leader in Johannesburg, threw in his two cents, declaring that this merger of political minds is aimed at uniting all the left-leaning forces. It's like a political Avengers assembling moment, but instead of saving the world from aliens, they're here to defeat the common enemy, whatever that is. Maybe it's bad dance moves, who knows? Now, here's the twist, Niehaus had cooked up Arita after getting the boot from the ANC in 2022. It's like getting kicked out of your favorite brunch spot and deciding to open your own waffle joint across the street. The syrupy irony is hard to ignore. One EFF member, in an attempt to wax poetic, praised Niehaus for humbling himself to the people of South Africa. Forget humility, let's talk about the real sacrifice here, the man gave up BMWs. In a world where luxury cars are political bargaining chips, that's like giving up your night in a game of political chess. And let's not forget Nkosenshaw Shazi, the former general secretary of Arita, who gleefully declared, call me a fighter. It's like a superhero origin story, but instead of being bitten by a radioactive spider, he's bitten by the political bug. Niehaus, ever the wordsmith, justified the union as a move to save South Africa from the clutches of the ANC regime. He even dropped the bomb that Arita's mission is to forge a united progressive left front. It's like political jargon bingo, and he just hit the jackpot. Folks, politics makes strange bedfellas, but in this case, it's more like a political slumber party with red berets, overalls, and a dash of radical economic transformation. The show is just beginning, and the script is as unpredictable as a cat on a hot tin roof. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, and subscribe.